Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43, and I'm here to give you the mid-month of July tarot reading for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius for the year 2021. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, you guys know I'm sending you so much love and light and blessings always for you and for everybody here. Thank you guys for coming back. You guys are so amazing. I appreciate you guys so much. And if you are a cross watcher, please do come in. You guys are so awesome as well. And we invite everybody and I'm sending you guys blessings for you and for everybody here as well. All right. Sagittarius. I, if you guys don't know, I'm a tarot card reader, but I also am a life coach ordained by God to do it. And I recently put up life coaching session number 21. It's about, it's about roles in a relationship. And I did two parts. So it's interesting. The first part is the shared roles. That's the video that's up. And then I have a link attached if you guys want to purchase the extended for the individual roles in a relationship. If you guys are interested, it's out there. So um, look that up in my archives and enjoy that. I don't do life coaching sessions all the time, but I do them when I'm called to do them. To do them and it's odd because to me, it seems to always fall on a Friday or a weekend. I don't know. It's just interesting. And that particular day, um, it was the 16th. It was um, last Friday. So that that's always a very spiritual number for me that I'm a, I have a high connection with God for that number. So, you know, I know it's an important life coaching session, but anyways, um, if you're interested, you guys can look that up. And if you want to purchase that extended, you can um, look it up. But if you guys want me to email it to you or put it up in this video, if I get enough emails about it, then I will. All right. That's one thing. The other thing is before you're reading, there's a song that came to mind, and I don't listen to this song. It's old. It might even be 90s old. It's around there, at least. And it's by Smash Mouth. The song is called All Star. I'm not going to sing it, but I will let you know the lyrics that keeps swirling in my head before you're reading. It says, all that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars break the mold. That I started channeling when I was doing a pre-shuffle. So right before I was recording, so, and, it, and I actually looked it up. So, and that's rare for me to do that. So, but I did. So, um, there could be a message for you guys. Maybe you guys are trying to break through something right now or, um, you're chasing a dream, but anyways, it's an interesting song. I haven't heard in a long time. I would really have to look up the lyrics to see what else is in it, but I, I remember it. Like it was a popular song, but I didn't, I didn't buy it or you know it wasn't something that I constantly had on repeat but I do remember seeing it like on VH1 MTV and everything all the time so it was really popping it was popular and it was a video to it too as well but anyways um in this reading you know it may correlate or connect somehow it may not but it's a message for you guys so you guys can look it up if you want there could be something in there for you that's of significance or importance or something like that or maybe that's somebody's favorite song or they like that song I don't know but anyways in your reading, Sagittarius, I will be using my favorite deck. This is the Oceanic Tarot deck. This is my baby. I love this deck. It's by Jane Wallace. Of course, all the decks that I use are listed in the description box below. I will only be using this deck for this particular mid-month reading as it's just like a quick check-in. And then I will also... Um, what else will I be doing? I will not be... I, I will be using the Formation of Star of the Sea, but... Um, I'm not going to read in reverse, so if it comes out that way, I will read it in the upright, okay? Let's begin your reading, Sagittarius. I feel like your cards want to say a lot, so let's let's see what's going on. Please, Spirit, come through as you always do for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius for the mid-month of July 2021. For Sagittarius, I feel like your cards really want to speak, because I feel like I'm being pulled in different directions. Hmm, already. It's going to be an interesting reading. I can feel that. One more for Sagittarius. Please pray come through as you always do. And of course, I pray and meditate and cleanse the energy for before each start of every reading for every zodiac, for every person always. All right. Let's start for Sagittarius. Please pray come through as you always do. Mid month of July, year 2021. All right. The first card represents you. The second card represents the change that you could see happening next. The third card represents what's going to trigger this change to happen next. The fourth card represents any guidance or action you could take by spirit. And of course, you know, you guys all have free will. Always do what you feel is best. Use your own discernment. You guys can flip flop, reverse information in the reading as necessary for your life as you choose to. Okay. Never ever force a reading. What's for you is for you. 
Take what resonates as you choose and leave, leave the rest. Okay. The fifth card represents what's happening in your circle with family, friends, co-workers, could be neighbors, relatives, or people around you. And the sixth card represents the outcome of the spread. Okay. All right. I always start at the bottom of the deck as it represents the overall energy. Let's see what we got for Sagittarius. You guys have the lovers at the bottom. Wow. So for me, this is automatic twin flame energy. That's what I always get when I see the lovers card. So a lot of you are interacting with a twin flame or coming into union with a twin flame. I'm seeing somebody who's very handsome or somebody very beautiful. They have really good skin, gorgeous hair, a lot going for themselves. This person could be highly educated or you have a lot of skills or traits could be you or your person or both. But this is a, like a match made in heaven. Here's the thing. Both of you guys have choices and options. OK, and you know that you're both very attractive people. People want to be in your energy. They want to be in your life. And some of you may already have a significant other where you may have to turn down, you know, this connection or this relationship. But I feel like there there's I'm getting the energy. There's twin flames here that want to be together that are going to make certain adjustments or are going to try. And this could be coming in really fast, really soon, because you feel like this is a destined journey. Of course, this is fate. I want you to understand that the twin flame journey can take you on the highest highs and the lowest lows. OK, it can work out. A lot of times it don't because it is super challenging. Like you can be, you know, you could feel one day on top of the world and the next week feel under the earth. You know, with the twin flame, it's roller coasters of highs and lows. And, you know, when it's good, it's amazing. And when it's bad, it's, you know, the worst. So this person, nobody can hurt you like a twin and nobody can really love you like a twin. So it, it can be challenging at times, but when twins are aligned and standing and operating from their higher selves, this is the most beautiful union. So yes, it can work, but it is rare. And to be a twin is rare from what I understand. You know, a lot of you, maybe in the past you focus on short term or maybe it was just um, sexual energy, but with a twin, it's everything. It's, it's love, it's emotion, it's passion, it's the experience of one another, it's the knowledge, you know, how your minds work and how you help each other, how you're there for each other. So think about the long term, you know, although you're going to be smiling and cheesing with your twin and flirting and having a good time, you know, you have to get underneath the surface. Can this person be a great friend? Is this person going to be a great role model for kids? Do they want kids? What are their wishes and desires? What have they accomplished? Are they happy with themselves? You know, what can they bring to your life to make you happier? Because remember, happiness always starts from each individual. Are they already happy? So are you going to be somebody who can add to this person's life to make them happier? Or are you trying to play fix it and see if you can make them happy? And that's not the goal. That's not the goal. Sometimes with Twin Flames, it's just um, lessons, some difficult lessons at that about love and what you want and don't want. Sometimes your twin can come in at a very challenging time, maybe right after a breakup or nearing the end of a divorce or, you know, a relationship that's on the rocks. You know, it's interesting when twins come in, usually major, you know, mountain shifts and changes are happening in your world, in your life. So, you know, to find out if this is the right person for you, you're going to have to ask those difficult questions and get to know each other. You know, it's more than just, you know, that energy and that powerful, this is not just regular energy. This is a powerful energetic pool is magnetic towards each other and you will feel like magnets. But you need to think about your future plans of what you want and desire. You know, don't get lost in the sauce of emotions and, you know, the beautiful energy, which is amazing and definitely enjoy it. But for those of you who want a long term love and commitment, you need to make sure your twin is on the same page. For a lot of times um, and for a lot of you, you may have already come into union with your twin, but maybe you guys are in separation. For those in separation, I think you're going to come back together. I really do. Unless you have really totally x this person out of your energy you know you'll always have some type of energetic attachment but you can move on and marry and love somebody else and still be happy too but i feel like um when twins come into each other's life i feel like somebody is at a turning point probably both of you at a turning point in your lives like something major like a major milestone is happening so you need to make a mature decision here okay so if you want a commitment, all the options and choices are going to have to be obsolete. You're going to have to get rid of those. You need to focus on finances and buying a house and plans and strategies and, you know, 
where do you live? You know, are you near this person or in their vicinity? Or are you at a distance? Somebody may have to move. You know, what type of work are you doing? Or is, you know, your person's job more stable than yours? Or do both of you have jobs that you love? Are you doing careers that you want to stay in? So you have to really evaluate your life, your home life, you know, your children that you already have, you know. This is not always an easy decision or straightforward type of choice, but if you truly want this type of commitment and you want to keep this bond, you know, you're going to have to decide, you know, is it time to walk away or try to be together? Okay, so this also signifies this card, like somebody may be ready for new love, okay, or like a serious relationship, but I feel like love is coming. So you will be flirting with somebody. But think of the long term if you really want a serious relationship or commitment, okay? Like a marriage, um, you want something serious with a title, something exclusive, something long term, like true love. You want that kind of situation? That's the energy you have to put out and manifest, but I do see love coming. I see twin flame energy coming together or reuniting, reconnecting here. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on with you. You guys have the Queen of Wands. Wow. So... A lot of you, I feel like you want somebody that's going to make you laugh. And I think you're going to make somebody else laugh. Like you just want to be in really lighthearted energy is what I'm getting. A lot of you are being guided to your intuition at this time. It should be heightened. And um, you should be following your intuition. Make sure that when you communicate with other people, that is on a soul level, meaning you're speaking from the heart. You are valuing your intuition, your intuitive gifts, and your own truth. So a lot of you are about to be like real talkative. Um, so you will be communicating with somebody. So you may be answering some questions or people may be asking you a lot of questions about yourself, about your home life. So be ready to talk about yourself and to communicate with others, but be very passionate about your gifts and the things that you can offer and share with the world and others because you have some wonderful gifts. Okay. Um, you can be very dynamic. Um, Sagittarius, you can be a natural born leader. And um, through your work and your beliefs and anything that inspires you, I feel like people watch you. They know that you have excellent potential. I like to say promise. Potential is really not my favorite word, but people know know that word. But you can do wonderful, amazing things. You can. You can take yourself to newer and greater heights. And this is, I feel like you're being pushed to do that. Okay? If you're in a relationship, you need to communicate and speak from the heart about what you truly desire and want at this time. And be honest, you know, sometimes people can't meet you halfway or they can't even reach you, especially if they don't even know what you want. So you have to be clear about that. Okay, communication is, should be important to you at this point. And I think that's what you want too. you want people to be clear with you as well. You need clarity at this time. And I feel like you're going to have it because I know you may find it very irritating or real frustrating when people just don't tell you straight up what's going on or what they're about who they truly are. Like you just want to get to the nitty gritty. You want to get to the point of who people are, especially when you're dealing with people, especially when it's emotions involved. Like you need to just know the truth no matter what it is. And you deserve that. And your person does too. All right. Cause if not, I feel like you'll close off from somebody. You, you won't like that being in the, nobody likes being in the dark. You have a lot of talents. It's time to like showcase them is what I'm hearing. It's time to like release them. If you're a dancer or if you're a painter, if you like to doodle or draw or something like that, somebody may like to cook there's something creative that you do and I feel like you do it well like you need to share it with people if you're an artist of some sort hmm, it's gonna improve as long as you keep practicing it's gonna improve and like somebody may need to open like an art gallery or some type of shop or store or something like that but get it done or showcase your work even online like if you you know gravitate towards like something creative and you have like a website where you can showcase your work or what you do some of you could be like a writer or something, maybe you write songs or music, whatever it is that you do, stick with it. It's on here. And it sounds like it's going to um, take off and do well because you're passionate about it. You love it. And it's, it's something that comes like it's a natural gift. It just comes to you. Okay. So, and definitely follow your intuition. Like listen to it. It's going to guide you with work, with um, projects, relationships, all of that. It should be heightened at this time. So be passionate and enthusiastic about you know, what drives you, what inspires you and keep doing it. Even if it's just a hobby, it may turn into your lifelong career. Like it could. Okay. The change you can see happen next is the five of cups of sadness. Some of you may be walking away from somebody because they caused you heartache or heartbreak in the past, or there was a breakup 
or you may be ending something with somebody. It could even be just, you know, just old negative ways of thinking. It could be severing ties with people that just don't serve your highest good anymore. I feel like when I see the five of cups energy, this is sadness. So, you know, unfortunately, I just want to send my condolences to anybody dealing with somebody who may be a loved one, may be sick or going through some illnesses or something like that, or somebody could be passing away. God forbid, this could also be bereavement. That's not the main energy I'm getting, but it definitely could be possible. My condolences, you know, we all are on God's clock. We're all God's children. You can heal from everything in life. You know, you can heal from heartbreak. You can heal from coping with death. And I actually did a life coaching session of how to cope with death. So if this is something that you need, please um, email me and reach out or look it up through my archives. If it's going to be helpful or beneficial to you, please um, don't feel like, you know, there's no way out. There's always a way out. And when you're down, the only way is right back up. So get up again and just remember your loved ones would want you to do what you love and go on and be prosperous and successful and happy. It makes them happier. They would want that for you, for whoever I'm talking to in regards to death and bereavement. So, um, yeah, my condolences there. But remember to always find your happiness and, you know, don't skip over grieving. You know, even if it's a heartbreak, you know, don't skip over it. Go through it so that you can get through it, okay? There's positive ways to heal, all right? And just, you know what, know that you have support. You'd be surprised who will offer that hug or offer you their phone number and just be supportive and by your side when you need it. Like, reach out. You know, when you need to talk to someone or, you know, you're not hopeless, okay? And you're not helpless. Like, you will heal and you will find support. People will come to your, your aid. They will come to help you, all right? Keep your thoughts positive no matter what happens. And everybody hurts. We all go through pain. We all go through challenges, adversity, and struggles. But guess what? You know, even through abandonment issues, you know what? We still have ourselves. We all have our spiritual teams. There's always somebody that loves you. You know, above all, we have Father God. We all have our Heavenly Father who got us, who will guide us, who will be here for us. You are not without love, help, and support. Please always know that. You can always turn to God and your spiritual team, as you definitely should. Somebody, it could be you or or somebody you know. It could be an ex or somebody you're separated. It could even be your twin or a soulmate. It could be somebody, I'm getting romantic. Like somebody may have made you feel like alone when it should have been both of you guys riding out together and working through things together and coming up with solutions. I feel like this person is haunted by guilt. Um, they feel really guilty and regret about how they treated you, how they left you out in the cold. They weren't there for you. You know, a lot of you are just ready to just move on is what I'm feeling, or you want to get out of this energy of sadness. Like some of you are in this already, or you feel it coming, but I feel like you're going to come out of this. Okay, even if it's just, you know, maybe you had to change jobs or you lost a job, you know, God forbid, but it happens. Even a friendship, you know, sometimes we find out the people we love the most or the ones closest, they hurt us the most sometimes. And it's really, it sucks. It's really sad. It's, it's hard. But I feel like um, sometimes this is unexpected, you know, for somebody, somebody I'm hearing, this was, they were blindsided by this. Like they didn't expect this person to just up and leave or go ghost, but they did. And it left you feeling confused. So you're going to heal. You know, one of the best ways to heal is through prayer and giving yourself closure. Don't always expect that from somebody else. Honestly, I don't think anybody should expect closure from other people when it comes to heartbreak, because oftentimes people hold back or they lie or the why will never be good enough. You know what I mean? It's so ridiculous and it's so low that it can make you feel worse. And a lot, oftentimes people don't tell you the full truth. You know, and it's not that you can't handle it. It's that they're not mature enough to give it. So don't stand this energy. This is not even a major arcana. This is light, it's meaning you're going to heal from this. You know, the pain never feels light. Pain always feels heavy and deep. But don't let it take you to a dark place of of like sadness. To It turns into um, depression or something like that. Don't let nothing take you there or nobody. You deserve a happy, peaceful, blissful life. Remember that. Always remember that, that you have dreams and goals yourself. Don't let somebody be a complete disruption to your life, okay? You will find your joy again. Keep turning to God, your angels, your guides, and self-love. That's always significant. As readers, we cannot stress that enough because people who live in a vibration of 
caring for themselves, loving themselves, treating themselves, actually finding themselves and making sure that they make time to take care of themselves and not just the outer body, but the inner soul, taking care of your heart, your mind, how you think, just elevating yourself and going through ascension and raising your vibration. It feels amazing. So, you know, people won't be able to hurt you the same. You won't be tolerating the same nonsense and low vibrations. You won't be tolerating the same conflict and drama. It's like, it's kind of like outgrowing yourself, like your old self. It's like elevating. That's what elevating is. You outgrow the old thoughts, the old patterns, anything that held you back or anything that was a blockage to you. Like you break through all of that. This is your breakthrough, Sagittarius. So go forward. All right. What's going to trigger this change is the fool. Yet a new beginning. You, like I said, a lot of you are ready to move on. You guys want a new start. You may want to date somebody new or different. You may want to try something different because what you used to do, it just didn't work. And a lot of you repeated that pattern, you know, with somebody else. Okay, so a lot of you have learned to, to open your eyes. You know, it's nothing wrong with taking that leap of faith. This is a good thing. But open your eyes. See where you're headed. It's okay to, to see the direction that you're going into. Okay, dive in. Go for it. You know, take... Uh, educator or positive risk. I think a lot of you are learning to do that. You know, you have a new pathway ahead of you. You have some beautiful things ahead of you. Like I look at this picture and I see the, the dolphin in the background. It reminds me like dolphins really love people. Like, you know, I've heard that if you're drowning and they're around, they'll try to save you. That's amazing. So I feel like this is spirit saying we're around to, to save you. We're around to protect you, to help you. So reach out to your guides, invite them in to support you in regards to love, relationships, money, your health, um, your creativity, your gifts, jobs just anything just reach out okay they'll even help you raise your energy keep discovering your life and yourself so a lot of you want to do over you want to start over again and this is good so it's tangible it can be done it's real continue to listen to you your um intuition okay so a lot of you are going to take a new physical journey so hey some of you could be moving um by land by sea some way you know do whatever you feel is best for you just stay focused on your goals is what I'm hearing. It's like you're, you're, this is your time to reinvent yourself is what I'm hearing. So go for it. All right. The action you can take guided by spirit if you so choose to is the king of the ocean order. Like I said, a lot of you guys are getting your life back in order. This is what spirit wants you to do. They want you to command respect for yourself. Stand up. It doesn't matter if you're male or female, masculine or feminine energy. Stand up and take back order and control over your life over your money, over your children, over your bills, over your finance, over everything. Get yourself in order. Get yourself organized. Start planning things again and making moves again. Power moves, okay? Life-changing moves for yourself. It's in your control. You guys are co-creating and co-manifesting with spirit. You're making changes. A lot of you need to take better care of your body and eat a little bit more healthier. It's okay to splurge here and there, but take care of yourself. Get back on the exercise routine. You know, get your kids back in order. Make sure you're checking in with them, whether they like it or not. Always know what's going on to the best of your ability. They do not tell us everything. Come on. We were kids once, too. We didn't tell our parents everything. Stay in the know so that you can know as much as you can. All right? Even if you become a bugaboo to them, oh, well. At least they know you care and you love them. Okay? It's better to know as much as you can than to be completely in the dark. Okay? So ask questions, get in their business. You're a parent. You have the right to, for those of you who are parents and for others of you, I feel like you're going to take order and control over your education, over the things that you truly want. You guys are wiser now. You've been through some really tough experiences and challenges to where like you, you see yourself differently. You see that you're ready for a new change or something new that you can embrace. It's like a transformation going on with you, but spirit's like, yeah, take order, take control. You know, it's your life. Live it how you want to live. You know, be your best self. This is the emperor. This is the king of the ocean. This is the, you know, the highest card in my deck. So they want you to stand up as an emperor or empress, okay? Know that you can attract wellness and abundance. You know, take control, but do it in a very positive, professional, loving way. I love that energy for you guys. I felt that for you. All right, um... Let's see what's happening with family, friends, and people around you. You guys have the sun, happiness. There's a lot of people laughing, enjoying life, enjoying outdoors again and outside, experiencing harmony. Lots of kids may be around you or want to be around you just to play video games, board games, have fun with your children, do things with them, go shopping with them, cook with them, clean with them, spend some time with them. Children really are the light. They are the sun. They make us happy. They say the funniest, little, darndest things. They lift our spirits. 
And a lot of you need to get back into being your old childlike ways. You guys need to know when to just have some fun. So your family could be inviting you over for family game night. You could be going out to dinner or just socializing with family. Could be a celebration or a birthday or something like that coming up for you. Or um, maybe in your family circle. So maybe or your friendship circle. Like somebody you know, Sagittarius, could be having a birthday or some kind of celebration. So just have fun. Enjoy people around you. Enjoy being outside. Be safe to the best of your ability. But Enjoy your life and encourage your family members to enjoy theirs. And it's okay to be a part of the festivities. It's okay to, you know, show up, you know, just show up, come correct and just have a good time. You know what I mean? Just, you know, be good to yourself, have fun, live a little, you know, be lighthearted, laugh, you know, enjoy the company of others. And I think that's what this is about, you know, resting, recuperating, replenishing yourself and just, you know, happiness helps you to recuperate. It really does. You know, laughter really is some great medicine. I really do believe that, you know, get back to the innocence you know within us that i feel like it's all it's in all of us okay so it's like rediscovering life for yourself this is beautiful energy you guys need a new start you know incorporate kids and in fun do something maybe for your family members your nieces and nephews or kids cousins aunts uncles like do something that's just enjoyable for everybody like maybe start something like maybe family game night or um maybe once a month you guys have sunday dinner like in the movie soul food or maybe you guys just do something different like you know family night or something like that where you just be more family oriented i feel like somebody may be pitching this idea to you or you may be pitching this idea to the family i think this would be really good and very positive and just help you like get reconnected with your family and friends all right but whatever you guys do just do what makes you happy that's what i'm hearing the outcome of your spread, Sagittarius, is the Knight of Pentacles. You guys have a loyal offer coming in. Somebody could be asking you out on a date. I'm getting, for a lot of you, this is family stuff. Like family wants to spend time with you. Maybe you haven't seen each other in a while or somebody missed your presence. Maybe they haven't been around you. Maybe they, you guys haven't talked in a while on the phone or text or something like that. Or, you know, people can't get a hold of you. You maybe have been a busybody or something like that. But um, I feel like a loyal offer is coming to you. It's going to be very important that you look over documents and that you read them very carefully, especially the small and fine print. Always at the end, you know, read everything before you, you know, put your signature there. But I'm seeing a loyal offer come in. It seems to be kind of slow. But you know what? It's it's good that it is slow because you need to take your time to go over some things, to ask some questions, to get some new information, to get further clarification about, you know, a job or a person. So just take your time if you're dating again or just starting back out. Take your time if you're getting to know people. Ask those questions that are on your mind and on your heart. Don't feel like you need to hold back anything. It's better to know the truth now than to keep dating and dating and then find this out 10 years later and this person is nothing like what they you know, displayed to be. So take your time, get to know people, and just enjoy your life. Okay, you are working on getting things in order, so you are in a, a time of planning. So trust God, trust I'm hearing you trust your spiritual team. You got you need to trust yourselves too. Sagittarius, trust yourself, okay? Waiting is not always fun. It's not always, you know, the most easiest thing to be patient. But I feel like to get great results, there are certain situations where you'd have to just be patient. I mean, that's not always the easiest word to hear because a lot of you have been patient, but continue to be so um, patience and hard work, it really does pay off in the end. It's worth it. As long as you continue to see progress, like some of you may be making investments and maybe you have to pay for a long time for this investment, but guess what? Once it's paid off, you will be so glad that you just took your time, did it well, did it right, so that it can end right, okay? Some of you may be switching homes or you're looking to sell your home and you may have to put a little bit more work into it, remodel a little bit. I mean, do whatever it takes to um, to get you the money that you desire or to get you to where you want to be, to like a new home, a condo, a new house, something like that. So there are going to be some serious decisions that you need to make, so... Stay grounded, stay level-headed, and stay close to your spirit guides and your spiritual team so that they can help assist you. And they definitely will. So ask. You know, ask and you shall receive. God is always there for you. Please know that. Okay? But I do feel like there's some offer coming in that's really loyal. It's trustworthy. You're going to like it. It's just kind of slow. So, you know, be patient. Be patient. Hang in there. Know that your time is coming. Everything happens in divine timing. And, um, you know, think positive about your future is what I'm hearing. Okay. This is the right time to start thinking about your long-term future. That's going to be big for you. And I think a lot of you are in that mind, in that mindset. Okay. 
something steady is going to come in. And that's what you want, something steady, something stable. Some You want somebody around you that truly cares about your heart and you and your kids and your family. Like the right person is always worth waiting for. All right. And that's, you know, with them making progress, you know, not just waiting in vain, waiting with progress, with promises. And you can see, you know, things getting done, you know, checks and balances, things are checking off. All right. So stay very positive. Continue to put out good energy. If you're serious and you're loyal, manifest that same energy back in the same type of love that you want. Talk to God about the kind of person you really want in your life as a significant other or spouse or the kind of career or job you want, the kind of boss you want. It's time for you to get real excited and enthusiastic about your life and where you're going and be very creative. You guys definitely have it within you and continue to make positive choices. Be patient. Stay devoted to what you care about, your children, your priorities. And I just see some wonderful things coming to light for you guys. So hang in there and um, stay focused. Stay real focused and listen to your intuition. Pay attention to any signs, synchronicities, any numbers songs, anything that just stands out to you, look that up, look into the lyrics, look into things so that you get better clarity about what's going on in your world and your life. It's all going to help. And you know, the more you know, the more you learn, the more you grow. And that's what life is about growth and success. And I feel like you guys will achieve that. You guys definitely have it within you. You guys are wonderful people. You have it in you. Okay. Sagittarius, this has been your mid month tarot reading for the mid month of July, year 2021. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as possible. I'm sending you all grace, love, and light, happiness, and joy. Do what pleases you, what makes you feel great, awesome, and amazing. You guys are exceptional. You're awesome. Thank you guys once again for watching. God bless you. Bye, Sagittarius.